All right, look like finally we are live. Uh, that was funny. So now we have only one person waiting, and the rest we are in, they are waiting in different place. Uh, peace of Christ to all of you, please invite your friends. Uh, as you see, there is something wrong was with YouTube, and suddenly my live broadcast is terminated. Uh, so let us invite everybody and tell them that we are here. I just uh, sir, you know, uh, posted on Patreon. I mean, nothing is working these days. Even Patreon, you try to post, the post is not working good. What have what's happening? All right, guys, invite your friends, please. As you see, we have we have a problem with YouTube, and for some reason, for some reason, yeah. Okay, let's see this one here. I will try to publish. Even Patreon, nothing is working. Let us see, we post it in Patreon. Let us see if people receive the message. We will delete the one before it. All right, so people will not be confused. All right, sorry guys, as you see, uh, YouTube has an issue. My account is fine, there's no problem. Uh, first, I wanna say thank you for your patience and please invite your friends again, we lost many people. And today we are going to talk about Muslims, this, how desperate they are to find Muhammad in our book. But as you see, the Muslims, they are searching any book, even in the book where people worship rats. And they claim that even Muhammad, his name, is exist in the Hindu scriptures. You know, when somebody say scriptures, what does that mean? That mean it is a scriptures. So when this idiot who is desperately trying to find is a prophet somewhere. Even in the Hindu scriptures, Muhammad is there. So suddenly now the Muslims, because there is a name similar to Muhammad in the Hindu scripture, which is a demon by the way. If you go check, you will see the Hindus, they say to you, it's a demon. The name he's talking about there is a demon, is a bad, is like, is, they don't believe in demon actually, they believe in like evil spirits, you know, supposedly it's something, it's someone is evil, like he is an evil, powerful spirit. But the Muslim are so excited, they found Muhammad in the Hindu scriptures. The Muslim, they found even Muhammad in our scriptures. I mean, Muhammad is everywhere. You open the watermelon, you found the name of Muhammad. Your duck, she give you an egg, you boil it, you find the name of Muhammad. You go in the wood, you will find a tree saying Muhammad. You go in the roof, you will find the dog howling, especially if he's husky. Oh, Muhammad! Cat, don't walk over the Quran. I mean, Muslims, they have a lot of reference and proofs that Muhammad is a prophet of Allah. And why those Christians cannot see it, I don't know. I have no idea. So today, um, you know, I'm, I'm not going to, to waste time. Already we wasted time with uh, YouTube trying to go live. Uh, I'm going to open my Skype. So if there is any Muhammadan, but, you know, please, if you want to shout, call names, I don't, don't call me. I will hang up on you. You want to, you know, you want to have an argument. Uh, you think it's valid uh, you are welcome all right so if you are a muhammadan feel free to contact me in skype and i will be happy uh, to take you uh, in order to know that you are a muslim in case your name in skype is not a muslim name so please let me know 
we have Assad the Prince. Let us see Assad the Prince what he want to say to us. Oh, the ambulance is coming for Assad the Prince. All right. Let us call Assad the Prince. And he is uh, he have a picture of himself naked. Hmm. I guess he contact the girl as well, you know, with this picture. Well, I don't know. I said the prince, uh, we can try to contact him. His uh, Skype is not working. Let us try again. Uh, I said the prince. Well, I said the prince, his, uh, his nakedness is not working. Uh, okay let us see well until now I don't see anyone except uh, the one who called himself Assad Assad mean a lion it's a form of cat anyway but uh, you know we saw those Assad you know when the Israeli come to them uh, they are under the ground when the Israeli army you remember Saddam Hussein he is the Assad of the Arab later we found him in the hole all of them they are lions they are lions when there is children in front of them, innocent civilians, you know. They are potatoes, cats, as soon a real army come to them. So as long there is no Muslim until now, uh, you know, we will be happy to wait for them to join us if they care. Muhammad is in the scriptures. So there is videos, there is many videos of... Uh, Zakur and Yuka speaking about Muhammad that he is in the in the you know in the Bible but you know if you remember the Muslim first they don't even agree who is Allah do they, I mean do the Muslims even agree who is Muhammad do the Muslims agree who is Muhammad he's light is he human is he before Adam created is he the one who Allah worship and pray for. So you will find that every Muslim sect have different idea about the Prophet, their Prophet, and different idea about his job, his duty, and they have different idea about who is Muhammad, who is Allah. If you remember this video here, Muslims are fighting about the nature of Allah, but this is not our, uh, our program today, you know. Our program today is about Muhammad. Is Muhammad in the Bible? Is Muhammad in the Hindu scriptures? Uh, Prophet Muhammad can be found everywhere. Here is somebody asking a question about the miracle of splitting the moon. So like how we can even know that Muhammad is a prophet? The whole point is to prove what? To prove that Muhammad is a prophet. This is the whole point, you know? Let us call uh, Mr. Assad again. He said uh, he said he is uh, he was uh, offline. He is a challenge in me. He's a scholar. If, if, as deep. Okay, and I'm trying to call him. Uh, there is no need for meeting, Mr. Assad. Uh, answer me in the, your account. I'm calling him. This guy is so excited. You know, he challenged me. You know. Okay, well, he is offline, I don't know. Anyway, so here, like how, how we know Muhammad is a prophet? You first, he may have miracles. Like what? He split the moon. Why nobody saw it? Because it was night. And everybody was asleep. There's a, there's a little girl, you know, a friend of Mimi Hijab, she said, uh, that because it was for a second, a milli of a second, so what do you expect? It was just two, you know, second. So what is the proof that Muhammad is a prophet? This sheikh, look, they, they give finger to Allah always. Miracle of splitting the moon. Asim al-Hakim, go. Verse number one. Allah Azza wa Jal. This chapter is or surah is called the surah of the moon, al-Qamar. Mm. Uh -huh. Allah says in the Quran, اِقْتَرَبَتِ السَّاعَةِ وَانْشَقَّ الْقَمَرِ uh -huh. Allah says, the hour has drawn nearer and the moon has been cliffed asunder. Okay. The moon has been cliffed 
asunder. It has asunder. been split into two parts. Now, mm -hmm. in the Sahih of Imam Muslim, narrated by Anas ibn Malik, may Allah be pleased with him, and also in the Sunan, narrated by Abdullah ibn Mas'ud, that the pagans of Mecca demanded a miracle. They wanted a sign to prove that the Prophet ﷺ is the Messenger of Allah. In the hadith of Muslim, mm -hmm. Allah Azza wa Jal made the moon to split into two parts. That's it. And the Prophet was talking to the pagans and to the Muslims as well. Testify. Look and testify. Bear witness. Bear witness. On what is happening. In some narrations, the kuffar, they were, the pagans, they were the one who demanded that the Prophet would split the moon, and it was full moon at that night. Just, just to show you how stupid when they lie. How you say this is a sign of the day of judgment, and then you say they demand it. Can I demand of a sign of a judgment day? Like, can I force Allah to start judgment day now? Do you see the stupidity? How it is a sign of the day of judgment which happened in the time of Muhammad and how you say even such a thing a sign of a day of judgment which means the judgment day started in the time of Muhammad 1400 years ago when you say a sign what does that mean it means that sign that mean the announcement of a judgment day do you see the judgment day around you Do we see it? So, if they demand, that means it's not a sign. Secondly, you Muslims are very weird. How come in the Quran, Allah says, you know what, if we, I go in the same chapter, just to show you the stupidity of this religion, or even earlier chapter, you know, the chapter of the moon, You are typing in English, sorry. If you go in the stupid Quran, you will find that the uh, uh, the people, they keep asking Muhammad to give a miracle. You know, how come he don't have uh, a miracle? As an example, chapter 10, verse number 20. Read with me carefully. And they say only, if a portent, if a sign were sent down upon him from his Lord, then say of Muhammad, the unseen belongs to Allah. So wait, I'm waiting with you. But we just heard the Abdul saying that Allah, he did it because they demand the Arab they demand a miracle and Allah did it right away but do you see how easy it was Allah is not naive they demand he make it so what is this now if we check this is chapter 10 Chapter of Eunice. All right. Chapter of Eunice, which we see in the front of us. Hold on, sorry. This chapter, when it came to Muhammad, any Muslim can tell me? This is a chapter number 50. According to the Revelation, this is a chapter number 15. All right, wonderful. Let us go to the chapter of the moon. When the chapter of the moon, we are typing in English again. My keyboard, you know, is not like we don't have Arabic keyboard really. I have stickers over my keyboard. So, 
it's not made for this chapter 54 but this is not really what uh, uh, the original uh, order no it's not what is the original order for this verse for this chapter 37 37 Anyone understand what I'm saying? Let me open the, the website for the Muhammadan, which is made by the Muslims, to show you how the supposedly so-called revelation, Muslims claim it's revelation, how the revelation came to Muhammad in the order of the following. Here we go. Al-Qamar is a chapter number 54. But Yunus, sorry, it's in the number now is 44, 54 in the Quran today. But in the real Quran, the, or supposedly the original, is number 37. Guys, you understand what I'm saying? So the verse where he's saying, wait and I'm waiting with you, came way longer. Look, this is Yunus, chapter 10. Is this it is in the real number is 51 so how 51 chapter 51 saying that they are demanding a miracle and Allah saying to them wait wait that's mean there is no miracle yet do you see how stupid this is this, this, they cannot make even, I mean, you know, like a Mickey Mouse is a cartoon. Simply, it's a lie. Everything there is a lie. Like the, the mouse playing with the cat, taking, like the, the uncle of the, of, of the mice came from Mexico. He played guitar. Have you ever heard of a mice playing a guitar? And then, you know, the, the, the line of the guitar like broke. And then the mice go to like Tom and Jerry and he take the mustache and he make it again for the guitar and the cat keep hiding. I mean, that story make more sense. How the stupid Quran say here that the moon is split and you Muslims in your TV, you say the, the witness, they saw it. They demand. He said, okay, look, look, I will split the moon. He won't split the moon. He won't split. We came to peace. And by the way, Muslims, did he glue him again? I mean, okay, the moon is split. The Quran says the moon is split. The moon did the, the Quran did not say the moon is glued. So it, it have to be split still until now. I mean, can you, can you, I mean, nothing in this Mickey Mouse makes sense. And then, the other verse in the Quran saying, which is they came long after, says, They asking Allah for miracle. Stay to them, wait, and I'm waiting with you. Imagine they asked Jesus, Hey Jesus, can you do a miracle? Wait, and I'm waiting with you. Wait for what? And Allah is waiting too? Why you did not say to them, we just made a miracle for you, you idiot, 20 uh, years ago. Don't you remember I split the moon for you? You forgot? The, the, guy, the guy did not split an, an apple, he split the moon. So why he here, here he is saying, he did nothing, just wait, it's coming. Obviously, it's a scam. It's a lie. Now, so the miracles of Muhammad obviously are not working. And, you know, those Christians, they did not believe Muhammad, neither the Jews, because they knew he's a scam. And, you know, uh, the, the funny is, the Quran speaks about a serious miracle. Allah, he, beat, he, he asked the Jews not to believe uh, anyone unless he, you know, he presents a Qurban. And Qurban means, uh, uh, by the way, even this word, it's not Arabic, and the Quran using it, that's me telling us that Allah is copying other religion. What is Qurban? Qurban is something, uh, uh, like now in the Christian Bible, they use the word, right? 
uh, which is sacrifice, sacrifice uh, in the Arabic translation. But because now this is used in the Quran, Qurban. Okay, what Qurban? And what is the need of the Qurban? Chapter 3, verse 183, it says that Allah He made the conditions on the Jews not to believe in any messenger unless He present a sacrifice. And then the sacrifice, Allah will send the fire from heaven and will consume it. It's in front of you, and even the Quran approve it. The Quran does not say they are lying. No. The Quran agree that yes, this is what Allah He commanded the Jews. So why the Jews should believe Muhammad? Do you see the stupidity? Allah told the Jews, He gave them a big sign. You know, like in the highway, it says, Don't believe any prophet unless he make a sacrifice. And then he do it the same as Abraham. And then Allah will send the fire from heaven and consume it. And okay, now the Jews says, Okay, Muhammad, listen, Khabibi. My name is Jack Shalom. I'm jumping from Jerusalem. And now I want you to do the Pagawi. Allah told me, I'm going to believe in you unless you do a sacrifice. And then Allah sent the consuming fire and eat it. What Muhammad said to them? He didn't say you're a liar. He didn't say it's not true. He agree. He told them, okay, hold on, hold on. I will get you busted. <laughs> okay. So, they, those who say, Lu Allah has charged us that we believe not in any messenger until he bring us an offering which a fire from heaven would devour, say unto them, Muhammad, messenger come to you before me with the miracles and you uh, very maker you are asking for the same is crap. So, see? so now we have a pattern of miracle happen exactly the same. Those prophets they give sacrifice, and then Allah He send fire from heaven, consume it. To what? To do what? To approve them. So Muhammad now agree. Yes, Allah He do that, which means Allah really He made a condition not to believe in any prophet unless to He give a sacrifice, and then we send the fire. Now, what they excuse Muhammad? God will not do it. But when did they, so why then you slay them, what, 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 if you are truthful, truthful about what? Abdul, who cares if they are truthful or not? As long this is the condition Allah made, that they should not accept any messenger unless he do this, and this happened. Which means you give the Qurban, which is the sacrifice, and then a fire will come from heaven and consume it. That is the condition of Allah, regardless if they are liars or not. You see, prophets sent to nations, who, who is saying that the whole nation will accept him? Maybe one, maybe two, maybe ten, maybe twelve, maybe not, nobody. But as Allah, he made the condition not to believe in anyone, unless he do this, so how in the world, you say, the excuse says, many before you okay and now if we ask the Muhammadan who is the messengers which gave sacrifice to God and the Jews they slay them who is the Muslim when I give me the name any Muhammadan shall we play the tech talk machine Tuck, 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 tick, tuck. The clock is working. Who are they, the messengers Muhammad claim, that the Jews, they slay them. Those are prophets, right? And as long the Jews, they can slay prophets, how come Allah did not save them, but he saved Jesus? I mean, what's wrong with this Allah? He allowed his prophet, you ask the Muslims, why the Jews could not slay Jesus? They will say to you, Brother Hitar, the Christian, they say, that did not want guilt and the graphite. But the fact that the graphite, Allah made him appear for him because Allah saved him. Okay, but why Allah save him? Because Allah loved the Prophet. Allah loved his prophets. Here we go. It says that the Jews they slay them. Them, them, not one, not two, not three. Them. Only Jesus 
Allah will save him, brother. I mean, Islam make a lot of, you know, once uh, I, I avoid using the word sense. You know, you know, English is not my first language. Like now it's better than before. So one, once I was doing a radio uh, show, and instead of saying it doesn't make sense, I said it doesn't make sex. Unbelievable. Like, you know, it told me what? I said uh, doesn't make, uh, I mean, sense, sense. <laughs> yeah, but the, actually, say, sex makes sense. Islam does not. Islam does not. I mean, what is this? Sex, sex is real. What is this? So you told them, don't believe in anyone unless, okay, listen, you, you serve in the army. Like, you know, you know, when you are serving in the army, you are a guard, they give you a password. So at night, if somebody walk by, you ask him for the password. If he could not, you know, like tell you the password, uh, you shoot him in his balls. So now Muhammad, he is walking at night. Allah told the Jews, you guard yourself. If a false prophet come to you, you ask him for the password. If he could not answer the correct password, you shot him in the balls. Now the Jews could not shot him in the balls because the guy have none. He have none. We can prove it. Even the Quran says so. If the Quran require them to not to believe in anyone unless he do this, so how in the world the Jews are bad people? That means the Jews are good people. Same time, being truthful or not, who care? How come Allah gave Jesus all those miracles? According to Muslim, you ask them, who is the one who made Jesus make the blind see Allah? Okay. Who is the one who made Jesus create from the, bed, uh, from the mother bird? Allah. Oh, okay. So who is the one who made Jesus uh, uh, walk in the water? Allah. Okay. Who made Jesus, uh, like, you know, uh, feed thousands from, you know, some bread and fish? Allah. Actually, in the chapter of al ban Ma'idah in the Quran, the story is different. According to the Muhammad, that the disciple of Jesus, they are really, they are very eating people. I mean, they eat a lot, especially Peter. Unbelievable. Peter, he, you know, Peter come to, to, to Isa, and he said to him, listen, Isa, I'm angry. So why you don't ask Allah to send us, uh, you know, food? So Allah, like Isa, hello? Assalamu alaikum. Allah? Okay, Allah, listen. Uh, Peter and the rest, and you know, like they are hungry. I'm telling you, John, unbelievable. He did not even eat for a week, and he want he he's, he don't want to spend money. To be honest with you, I mean, those are Jews. They want to spend money, so they they want free food. So can you send us something? So Allah, He sent him seven whales in seven sandwiches. Seven what? Seven whales in seven sandwiches. This is why the verse it called the chapter Al Maida, which means the food table. This was the name, the food table. Like, like Allah, He sent down a table so huge and have seven sandwiches. Each sandwich have a wheel. I mean, can you believe how Peter eat? I mean, the guy Peter alone, he ate one wheel. John, he ate like, he ate like, uh, John, he was like, uh, man, I cannot eat it all. Like, you know, so like, he started putting some food like here, there, hiding it. Like, and Isa was saying to him, John, what are you doing? He said, before they eat it, man, Jack Shalom will come and the rest of the Jews will come and will take the old food. We have to hide it. Seven wheels. So Allah sent Jesus seven wheels just because somebody asked him for a sandwich and Allah cannot send Muhammad a miracle. Seven wheels and each one of them inside a loaf. You know the, the bread, like the Arabian bread, Middle Eastern bread, you know, like the, the thin, you know, so like, I like he put mayonnaise, ketchup, you know, hey, John, what do you want? Uh, you know, I like, uh, you know, uh, some uh, spicy food. Chinese, make uh, some Chinese food, you know? Yeah, so Allah, you know, like he went to the kitchen, he like, because they called Jesus, they called Jesus, you know, when you want to eat, now send us sandwiches. So he sent them seven sandwiches each. This is why there's no whales in the ocean now. Because those are the last whales from of their kind was exist in the in the sea at that time they are different wheels like they are you know like this is why in england there is a, a, a like a a state called wales you know why they call it wales because simply this is where isa was located when they ate the maida you know the table there so, true story so in the case of isa anything isa he want allah he sent isa he want whales the whales come isa when i resurrect the man from death the man is coming from grave 
Isa, he want to walk in the water and believe what the water became rocks. Isa, he wave his hand according to Mufti Mink and thousands of people get healed. Everybody is healed. Isa was a hospital, you know, all those stories. And then Muhammad asked him just one miracle, just one for the sake of sin, sin of Allah. Like, what's wrong with you? Huh? And what Muhammad said to them? Uh, okay, hold on. Uh, prophet before me, uh, uh, you did it uh, the same uh, very miracle you asked for. So why you kill them? Like, okay, who are they? Those messenger they kill them. And what does have to do with the what does have to do with, with the condition? Allah made the condition says, don't believe in anyone unless he do that. So now going back to our topic. So the Muhammadan they decide to find Muhammad in the Bible of Adar. And in order to find Muhammad uh, uh, in the Bible, uh, Muslims they did their own research. And for sure, you will find Prophet Muhammad in the Bible. Where? In the Old Testament. Who is a Muslim he believed that in the Old Testament, Muhammad is mentioned? Uh, by the way, I don't mind. You know, I, really, I don't mind. For me, actually, I'm going to show you that, yes. Not only yes, actually the same chapter, Muhammad and they claim, it mentioned that Muhammad, I have to agree, it yes. But not the same verse they are mentioning. This is the Quran Ayyuka, peace be upon her. Prophet Muhammad mentioned in the Bible. Okay. Prophet Muhammad mentioned in the Bible, brother. And that's it, you know, Zakar Naik, he knew best. So what you can do? Let us uh, put the screen here. Okay. Look, look, Zakar Naik, how excited, happy he is. I mean, he found Muhammad in the Bible finally. They could not, they could not find Muhammad in the Quran, they found him in the Bible. So, okay, what was the question, brother? So let's discuss the prophecy of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. As far as the Christians are concerned, whatever the Old Testament, they have to be part of the Bible. Uh -huh. and Allah says, hold on, hold on. Hey, hey, Muslims, how come the Christians don't say that the Old Testament corrupted? How come you, I mean, you see the stupidity of the Muhammadan? How come the Christian did not do what the Muslim do? First of all, if a Christian want to say that the Old Testament is corrupted, people will laugh at him. Why? Because how he can make all the Jews agree to corrupt a book spread everywhere. If I convince a rabbi in New York, let us corrupt the Torah. What about the rest of the Jews? <laughs> So, you Muslims, you are just a bunch of idiots. So, in one hand, you say that the Old Testament and the New Testament is corrupted. But suddenly, because one of you say that this is a verse about Muhammad, the book is not corrupted. Because you cannot, now, you see, you cannot take a source or resource from a book. It is not approved. You can't say this book is corrupted and then you say this is about Prophet Muhammad. Especially if the whole purpose of corruption is to deceive people from believing in Muhammad. So what? They corrupt the whole book? They left the verse about Muhammad? I mean, are they blind? Don't they know? Can't they see? It says Muhammad there. It, I, don't know, I will show it to you. It says a guy who is illiterate and an idiot and a liar and a thief and a child molester. So now, the Quran of Yoka, peace be upon her, is going to show you from the Old Testament how Muhammad is mentioned and the Christian now they cannot deny it. That's it, it's there. Quran in Surah Araf, chapter number seven, verse number 157. They follow the unlettered prophet, which is mentioned in the law and gospel. It's further mentioned in Surah Saq, chapter number 61. You know, hold on, hold on, Abdul. What, 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 what he said? Let us go to the verse so we can love together. I mean, those, the, I, hold on, unbelievable. What, 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 hold on, what? What chapter? What chapter? Al-Araf? They followed the unlettered prophet, 
And Allah says in the Quran in Surah Araf, chapter number 7, verse number 157, they follow the unlettered prophet. You, you, when I say Muslims are a bunch of idiots, I mean it. I'm not insulting, by the way. I mean, idiot is a, is a rank. Like, you know, uh, hadith is da'if is a rank. Hadith is the uh, uh, strong is a rank. So, uh, idiot is a rank. I mean, at least, you know, we give you, you, are, you know, you have a place between mankind. So, the verses in the Bible speak about illiterate. And that is Muhammad. Do you know what that verse even saying? You idiot. Can us tell us what more? Which is mentioned in the law and gospel. It's further mentioned in Surah Saf, chapter number 61, verse number 6. The Jews cast peace be upon him, says to Bani Israel, mm -hmm. the children of Israel, I've been sent as a messenger to you, confirming what came before me. And Look at this. Did he just say it what you know? He just said confirming. Can you believe it? And by the way, it doesn't say confirming what came before me, you stupid liar, son of Muta. Let me let me show you how we get them busted. You know, uh, after we made a funeral for him, ethical funeral, and we have like I don't know how what is the number now? One hundred twenty something thousand view. I don't know what the number now. It it does not say confirming what came before me. It says it says confirm what is with them. I've been sent as a messenger to you, confirming what came before me. So the whole idea is supposedly to reject Christianity and to say the Bible is corrupted. And now from his mouth saying that he is confirming. Hold on. So did Muhammad confirm or he confirmed not? Let us go there. The prophet, the illiterate in the Bible, the chapter of as the brother. If you read to me carefully, you will see that the word uh, uh, ummi does not mean illiterate about writing and reading. Illiterate is a word mean gomai, which means pagan. This is the chapter he is mentioning. You will see here, it says confirming what is with them. Actually, sorry, this is Araf, not as -Safa. So here it says you find it in their book. The prophet who is illiterate, they found it in their book. It doesn't say uh, uh, which chapter, which book. It says Torah and Injil. Okay. So this prophet is mentioned in their books. Can't Muhammad mention to us where? If there is a hadith where Muhammad say to the Christians and the Jews, like open, let us say, the book of Isaiah, open the gospel of John. So how come in the whole Quran doesn't say, it's in their book, it speak about me. Where? Shouldn't he say where? Same time, that statement is again proving that the Torah and the gospel in the time of Muhammad cannot be corrupted. Why? It's already 600 years after Jesus and the Quran agree with it, claiming that now, now, it's there. You know what I mean? Right now, as we speak, when this verse came, the name or the, the information Muhammad he claiming, it's there. So they cannot say it's not there and it's corrupt. We continue. The, the prophet, which is illiterate. You will notice the Quran saying 
And I want you to take a note about this verse. This verse is very important to get them busted. It is he who has sent among the illiterate one messenger of their own. Listen carefully. You see the Muhammadan, I never saw a Muhammadan, by the way, knew his religion. Never, never. The word illiterate is a gomai and the proof in front of you. Because gomai is a pagan. If Muhammad was sent only to the illiterate, and the illiterate mean somebody do not know how to write, how to read, that means everybody in the whole peninsula, the desert, nobody there knows how to write, how to read. That means Muhammad came only to those who do not know how to write, how to read. Are you with me? Are we following people? I don't ask people to give me a like or to subscribe because I don't care. You give me a like, you don't give me a like. Just focus with me, please. We don't care for those things. People give us like, they don't give us like. That is the loss of our worry. This is not an Abdul channel where we will send you good uh, 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 cat halal food. Brothers and sisters, cat halal, like, I mean, even cat, they have halal food. Are you mentally ill? I mean, cat, they eat cockroaches. They eat rats. They eat mice. You Muslims, you made halal cat food. Islam is a product. Islam is a commerce. But anyway, this is a different story. Halal, halal food for the cat too. Brother, do she say the name of Allah before she eat the rat? Huh? Now I know why the cat, like they are licking their fingers because the Prophet Muhammad, he said, after you eat brother, what what he said? Let me show you what he said. And this is a proof that cats are Muslims. Look at this. Look. Unbelievable. So beautiful. Ibn Abbas reported that the Prophet saying, when one of you eats, he must not wipe his hand till he lick it or give it to someone to lick it. What the heck? Now we know why the cat's like, you know, like the cat, she is licking her hand, licking her ass. I mean, she is licking everywhere. She's a Muslim. But those Christians, they laugh. They say like, you know what, the heck, is she crazy, uh, even cats? Yeah, yeah it's uh, proven scientifically. This is uh, scientifically, you know, like, the, 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 you know, uh, diversity of uh, NASA. You know, the varsity of NASA, they even, they went to the moon, they saw the moon uh, split and, you know, they put it in the internet for 17 days in 1963, where there's no internet yet for public. They put it in the internet and then they, they were afraid that, uh, you know, uh, people will see it, so they took it down and uh, since then it's, uh, it's, it's down, you know. Like you go now to NASA, you search like the moon is split, uh, you, you find nothing. Why? Because, you know, NASA, not Muslims country. It's, uh, you know, they are corrupt and they are paid by the Hindus, you know. So like, you know, like the, you know, the, you know the thing. What was the topic, by the way? Uh, like, thank God it's not Joe Biden teaching us. Anyway, so we go back to our topic. So Muhammad, if the word illiterate mean he do not know how to write, how to read, well, that means Muhammad was sent only for people who do not know how to write, how to read. The verse in front of you. He who has sent among the illiterate ones a messenger of their own. All those people, nobody knows how to write. Is it, is it Warqa ibn Nufal? According to Khadija, when Muhammad been squeezed by the angel, she took him to him and he was writing the translation of the gospel in Arabic. That mean in the in the Quraysh they knew how to write, how to read. And all of us we knew. I mean the, the Arab they used to hang their poetry, written poetry, in the wall of the Kaaba. Every year they have an occasion to do it so. So, obviously, the word illiterate is not about a person to not know how to write, how to read. And this is, again, one of the most stupidity as usual. But we will go to the Quran and Yoka, peace be upon her. She knows best.
Okay, there's a corona yoga. And look at all those people. Look how big the group. This is telling you how low the IQ of those people. You know, not even a single one of you go and check out what he's saying. Not if a single one of you, he have a phone, they have, but nobody will check after a Muslim because a Muslim will defend the Prophet. It doesn't matter if he's lying or not. Allah Akbar, amazing brother. Satanic cult. And giving glad tidings of a messenger to come whose name shall be Ahmad. And when we read... Hold on, his, here we go. Another popo. I don't like to use the word shit, but excuse me, I have to use it. So Abdul, is Muhammad name in the Bible or it is Ahmad? I mean, do they even sound the same? He just said his name is Ahmad. And in that he says Muhammadim. Okay, is Ahmad is Muhammadim? If you remember, there is a debate between an idiot, a Muslim idiot, one of those kids in YouTube, and Doctor, what's his name, Brown. Go watch it. You know the, the guy he speak bro. He got them busted. What Muhammadim mean? I mean, it's it's an embarrassment. It turned to be that Muhammad is a woman. <laughs> so in the you know, and the one who will mention the name of Ahmad is Isa. Okay, where we can find Ahmad in the Bible? Where we can find it? Continue. The New Testament. There mm. are several prophecies of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Looking at the clock, huh? they say I have a businessman, you know. In the New Testament, it's mentioned in the Gospel of John, chapter number fourteen, verse number sixteen. It says, "Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said, I shall pray to my Father to send you a Comforter." Who shall abide with you forever? Look at the donkey language. So now Muhammad is with us forever. He's he's God. I mean, if we go right now to John 16, 14, I mean you, you in two seconds you will find out that this is cannot be even about a man. You know. I know like I use a, I use a tough language, right? When I speak about this cult and the followers. But I don't have a different, I mean, can you help me? Give me a different title. Give me a different word to use. What will you, do you think really they don't know how to read? Do you think really they don't know that they are lying? Do you think really they are ignorant? No, they knew. They knew that everything they are saying is absolutely a lie. If we go there, and by the way, Muhammad is the converter. I mean, he converted the whole world. This is why we have to check for airline for three hours before we fly because of Muslim putting, putting a, a C4 in their anus, in their shoes, under their tongue, around their penis. Because Muhammad is the converter. Hmm. I will pray to the Father. Okay, you Muslim believe in the Father. Isn't the Quran says, the Christian and the Jew, they say, we are the children of Allah. Say to them, well, if you are a children of Allah, so why he is punishing you? Nay, you are a human. Muhammad, he think. But when we Christian, we say we are children of God. We claim not to be a human. <laughs> this is how donkey he is. And look, so this guy, he found the name of Muhammad there. Let me, let me, uh, let me, uh, to make it more clear. I love it to find the name of Muhammad there. This is about Muhammad? Man, that's so good. All right, all right. So, I will pray to the Father and shall give you another comforter that he may abide with you forever. Muhammadan. Isn't it the hadith says that Muhammad ibn Abbas, he said, Itfinu sahibakum fa innahu yasanu kama yasun al-bashar. Bury your friend, he stink like all human beings, they stink. So Jesus is praying to the Father to send someone like Muhammad who stink and he died and he will abide with you forever brother it must be Muhammad and even the verse after is saying the spirit of the truth I mean can you believe how they lie Same time, if you read, <laughs> you 
you will see that Jesus saying that he is coming to us. He is, you know, I will not leave you. Comfortless. I will come to you. And verse before it says, even the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it sees him not, neither knows him, but ye know him, for he dwelleth with you, and shall be with you. Muhammad, he dwelleth with them, with them at that time, and he will be with them later. And I will not leave you. I will come to you. The turn to be Muhammad is Isa. And Isa is Muhammad. Shafranizia. So, what are they call it? So, excuse my English. Shafranizia. I don't know what the word it, is. It's, it's hard. I don't know who made this word. I'm going to ch change it. I will call it Joe Biden. That's easy. I mean, those people are so ill, desperate to find their prophet somewhere in the watermelon, in the toilet seat, in the egg, in the cheese, anywhere. And then, as long as he is quoting the same chapter, why he don't quote for us what it says there? You a little while, and the world sees no more, but you see me, because I live, yeah, shall live also. And at that day, you shall know that I am in my Father, and ye on me, I in you. Why you don't say to us what Jesus said in that verse? Do you believe in it? Did Muhammad keep the commandment? He who keep my commandment, do you know the Muslim they say to us, where Jesus says, I'm God? If Jesus is a prophet, he cannot have a commandment. You know, we know that the Ten Commandments sent to Moses, sent from God, not from an angel. The one who loved Jesus, he will be loved by the Father. And then, if we read the rest of the chapter, you will see that everything there is confess, con con confessing that Jesus must be God. But those, the same stupid people trying to find Muhammad there, they don't want to read the rest. They read only one verse. They claim that this is Muhammad. Why we don't read the rest? Why we don't read before it? Why we don't read after it? But the Comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, who is the Comforter? Is the Holy Ghost. Do you think really that Zakir Naik, the son of Muta, the follower of the pedophile, he did not read until verse number 26? Do you think his knowledge is only located in one verse in that chapter? Whom the Father will send in my name? Is Muhammad coming in the name of Jesus? He shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance. All of this they deny. All of this they don't see. All of this they can't read because they are following a scam back. So suddenly Muhammad is a Holy Spirit. And you know, remember, those who insult the Holy Spirit, they will never be forgiven. 
This is the word of my Lord. Those who insult the Holy Spirit, they will never be forgiven. So imagine the Muslims, they insult the Holy Spirit, claiming that the Holy Spirit is a man, his name is Muhammad, which is very well known as comeback. Can we take what those people say as a source of people who they are religious? Can we accept that a Muslim, he is, just by seeing a Muslim, for me, he is not a decent. I know that you might say, or you are being a, what they call the word like prejudice, something like that. No, no, no. This is my experience. The second you say to me, you are a Muslim, that means you are a liar. Until you prove the opposite. A Muslim is a liar until he proves the opposite. Because a normal Muslim is somebody he lies. Actually, in Islam, you cannot be a Muslim unless you are lying. Chapter 3, verse number 28. A good Muslim husband is the one who lied to his wife. A good Muslim is the one who lied to two Muslims supposed to fix between them. Even fixing issues between each other is about lying. Who is a Muslim really here? He want to give me a verse from the Bible beside what Zachar Naik. Shall we go to other verse in the Old Testament? So now, uh, Muhammad is the comforter. That's it. He is the Holy Ghost. Eh, what you can do about it? Any Muhammadan? I don't see any comment in Skype, any uh, any Muslim trying to text me. But like the Muslims, they who dare? Who dare? Who is the one who is willing to sacrifice himself to become the potato, to be fried? They knew that this, this cult is not even a religion. Did Jesus ask people? To stop the ownership of a slave uh, you know uh, skyline saying uh, if Jesus he ordered to stop the owners uh, uh, to own slaves Christ he did not establish a state Christ all his teaching is about salvation and the human being who struggle the Bible say that in Christ there is no free, there is no slave, there is no Greek, there is no Hebrew, for all is one in Jesus. So here you notice that Jesus, he did not come to uh, make a revolution against uh, uh, slavery. No, this is not his job. He brought a revolution of salvation to the one who been neglected, the slave, the Jews, the Greek, the Roman. The Roman at that time, they are the highest in the society. So the Bible confirmed that all of you are equal to Jesus. All of you are one in Jesus' name. You are a free, you are a slave, you are white, you are black, it doesn't matter. So Jesus did not establish a state to change the state. Jesus, he came to teach about his salvation. Whoever believe in me and I will live. The kingdom of Jesus, my friend, is not in this earth. This is what Christianity teach. It's not about the kingdom we establish in this earth and then we force people to do this and that. It's about a kingdom where those who believe in Jesus will inherit. Same time, Muhammad, he was a slave owner, but Jesus never owned a slave. Jesus never owned a donkey. Jesus never built a house. So, if you are talking about if Jesus ordered to free slaves, well, name for me the slave of Jesus then. We follow Jesus. He owned no slaves. Did Peter have slaves? Did Paul have slaves? Did John have slaves? All the companions of Muhammad, they are slaves owners. And Muhammad himself have hundreds and thousands. And here you see the hypocrisy. 
that Muhammadan they claim that they are against slavery when their master himself is a slave owner. In fact, when some Muslims they free their slaves because the Arab before Islam they used to free slaves. They do that. When an Arab man he feels guilty for some something wrong he did, he go around the Kaaba, he do tawaf, which means going around the Kaaba. And then he asked the gods, Allah, and his assistants to forgive him and he free a slave. Muhammad, he changed that. Instead of a freeing a slave, he said to you, if you kiss a black stone or, or, or touch a black stone and the Yemeni corner, it's the same as a recent, the same as uh, uh, releasing a slave. Let me show you if you don't believe me. Which means Muslims now do not need to be, to to erase slaves. That's it, because simply all we need to need to do is just go around the Kaaba, touch the black stone, all right. Read with me carefully. Muhammad, he don't want really people to free slaves no more. You see, uh, uh, a religion can be a big business, and that can happen any 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 belief. As an example, in Christmas, the companies make billions, correct? Billions, not millions, hundreds of billions. The occasion is the birth of Jesus, but none of this commercial have nothing to do any with Jesus. So now if Jesus came and he says, those lights, those trees, those toys, those things is not me, I have nothing to do with it, the, the, the commercial is gone. The business is gone. The business, the flourishing business in the time of Muhammad, by the way, I'm not against... Uh, don't think I'm against uh, Christmas. I love a Christmas. And you can bring a tree and you can... I'm saying if Jesus said. If Jesus said. But the flourishing business in the time of Muhammad is a slavery. A lot of money. People traveling from city to city, we kidnap them. We make them slaves. Women, children, we sell them. Money. Free money. It's like the, it's like the oil at that time of Arabia. This is the oil of Arabia at that time. So here, Muhammad, he didn't want to stop the market of slavery. He said, if you touch the black stone or the Yemeni corner, it's the same as a freeing a slave. So now, which one is easier for a Muslim? To free a slave cost him, let us say, a hundred pieces of gold. Or going around the Kaaba seven times touching black stone. I think you know the answer, right? Do you understand what I'm saying? Which one is better for a person who owns slave? To lose a slave or to go and walk around the Kaaba seven times and touch the Yemeni corner and the black stone. Yemeni corner, which means the corner of Yemen, which has the stone of the... Uh, 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 the moon god temple in Yemen. Do we have any Muhammadan here? And you know the funny is, they say to us that Islam is not a pagan cult. So what is this? What is this? Uh, Skyline saying thank you for answering our friend you need to understand that Christ he set you free from different kind of slavery slavery is unjust act you need to ask yourself first if Jesus himself went in the cross himself been taken to the cross 
Shouldn't you ask yourself? Then what the purpose then of Jesus, if this is your question about slavery? As you see, he himself was treated very badly and justly. So people don't notice that Jesus was not coming as a governor, governor, uh, as a governor or a king to rule this earth with the army and do this and do that. He is coming for a different mission. He himself was mistreated more than any slave you know. But this slave will live until he die. They capture him, they crucify him, they torture him for no guilt. He did nothing wrong. So people sometimes, they try to mix between that Jesus and the government. In the time, let's say, uh, if Jesus, he established an army and he have a kingdom and he have a throne, and now he is establishing a law. And then you can ask those questions, why Jesus did not. Uh, but Jesus, Jesus himself, he washed the feet of his disciples. Did you ask yourself why he did? This is an act of a slave. Who is the one who washed the feet of somebody, a human being? People tell me. Who is the man? who wash the feet of other men. This is the job of a slave. There is no man will wash the feet of other men. Not voluntarily. Jesus himself, he did wash the feet of his disciples and when they wanted to refuse to say, Lord, what are you doing? He said, if you don't let me do it, you don't belong to me. I do not know you. In order to be a master, you have to be a servant. That is Jesus, my friend. So when Skyline is asking a question, you are asking about the wrong Jesus. For Jesus came to teach us, to be a master is to be a servant. Which means the Christians are willing to enslave themselves with love. To serve and to do good. That is the master in Christianity. It's not somebody giving commands and he do nothing for living. The Christians of Jesus is the one who serve and wash feet like Jesus. And those are the masters. The one who earn life or seek life, he lose it. The one who seek the glory of this life, he lose it. I have a question from Maggie. According to Hebrew six, is it possible? You know, we don't want to change the topic. As you see, you are, you are. Uh, you guys taking me away from my topic. We are here to trying to refute the, the lies of the Muhammad. This is not a class about the Bible. Even when we are talking about the Bible, it was to show you how they lie and why we cannot take what Muhammad and they say about their religion using our gospel or the Torah. Never take a Muslim post. Never take a Muslim claim. Anyone claim actually, even a Christian person. Because somebody, he might claim to be Christian, but he might lie about Christianity because simply he's trying to use you and abuse you, take advantage of you. The Messiah, he warned us about lying teachers, lying fraud. In this video here, I'm sure that uh, uh, Zakur and Yuka, he will say, uh, the Old Testament, and he will speak about uh, the book of uh, Deuteronomy. But you know, if you go in that book, you will find that if the Muslims agree with that book, Islam is over.
Do the Muslim believe in this? How would even they mention such a book to say that a prophet is mentioned there, which is false to say? But look, if they agree with this, that means the land of the Jews is all the way to the Euphrates. Is all the way. Read carefully with me. If you agree with this book, then you have to give up all this land and give it to the Jews because this is a promised land to the Jews. The Lord, he spoke to Moses. The Lord, our Lord, spoke to us, saying what he is saying to them. You know what? This is your land. This is your land. From where to where? Read carefully. Who is a Muslim there to say, I agree with it? And I believe truly that this land will be taken by Israel. Even though I believe that the Israeli today, like the, the one is coming from Europe and those blonde people, they are, those are not the real uh, Israeli. The real Israeli, there is some of the Jews in Israel, they are real Israeli. And the rest is, I don't know. I mean, some even they claim they be convert, some uh, they claim to be from Ethiopia, some. But the real Israeli, This land belonged to them. And sooner or later they will take it. And if you think it's impossible, well, just a few years ago it was impossible for the Jews to have a state. Who believe that after a thousand of years of the Roman occupation and then the Arab Muslim occupation, the Jews, they have a state and they have Jerusalem. And the Bible prophesy about them taking the land. So if you think this is a false promise, you are dreaming. They will have it. The Lord always keeps his promises. But do the Muslim accept this book? If you accept it, then you accept what it says there. And then the Muhammadan, they go, they say, okay, you know what? We accept only one chapter in this book. Okay, which chapter? Zechariah will quote for you, chapter 18. Okay, we go to chapter 18. They say verse 18. All right, sound good for us. So chapter 18, verse number 18 is about Muhammad. Maybe we have a Muhammad, let us see. Huh, we have Afzal, Afzal. Uh huh. I, I, this name is not strange for me. I don't know. Let us see of Zal. <coughs> we are trying to contact of Zal, but of Zal contact is not working. Let us try again with of Zal. <coughs> No. Hello? Hello? Hello, yes, Christian Prince, how are you? I'm fine, my friend, but it's very noisy. I hard to hear you. Is it okay? I cannot hear you, sorry. I mean, it's very noisy there. Is it, is it okay now or still it's, you can't hear me? Uh, there is a lot of noise in the background. Yeah. I close the applications. All right, you just fix your microphone and I will be happy to take you. Look with me. The Muhammadan they claim that verse number 18 claiming about talking about prophet. What is that? It says there that the Lord said to me, What they have spoken is good. I will raise up. 
for them a prophet like you from their among their people their brothers hello hello is it clear now it's still it's, yeah, it's not really clear. clear but go ahead what do you want to say to us oh. i want to say a lot of things to you guys do you understand what he's saying no. Yeah, sorry, Abzal. I can't really take your call. Your call is your your sound is very horrible. You need to fix. Uh, you know, I don't know what. Uh... So Zakir Naik, all the Muslims, they claim that this verse is about Muhammad. But in two seconds, you will find that out. This is impossible. He will be from them, speaking to them. Then, our rays. From you, prophet like you, I will put my words in his mouth, and he shall speak to them that I all I command him. And then, which he speak in my name, what is the name which is God gave to Moses? If we can use it as a name, is it Allah? Muslims, how come Musa has never mentioned the name Allah? I mean, what we see there, there is Elohim. What we see there is I am who I am. We never heard of Allah. So the first command is to speak in the name of the God of Musa, Moshe. Did Muhammad speak in the name of the God of Moshe or in the name of the idol, God Allah? We know the answer. Then it says here, I will require it of him, the prophet, presumed to speak the word in my name, which I have not commanded him to speak, or who speak in the name of other gods. Okay, so there's two kinds of prophets. There's a prophet who God gave them command. They speak in the name of the God. How we know if the prophet is speaking in the name of God or not? Very simple, the name. This is number one. Number two. If he commands something, I did not command him. He's a false prophet. Everything Muhammad he command is against the Ten Commandment of Moses. Moses. Did Moses kiss black stones? Did Moses go to Hajj? Hey Muslims, how come Moses he dropped the Hajj? What happened? His God did not tell him he forgot about it. Maybe his God was busy. He forgot he dropped the most important thing to tell Moses. How come Adam himself, he went to Hajj? Adam, according to Muslims, he went 40 times in 40 years, going backward, forward from Sri Lanka. As you know, Muhammad claimed that Adam came down in Sri Lanka, which means he swim, because how he crossed the sea of Sri Lanka to come to Saudi Arabia. Sri Lanka is an island. So he came 40 times. This is Moses. Sorry, this is Adam. So there is no way that Moses do not know how important the Kaaba is. Where we can find the Kaaba to visit in the book of Moses? Where we can find the name of Allah? How come Muhammad broke all the command of the Ten Commandments? So I have to say that this book speak about Muhammad. Yes. but as a false prophet.
The verse number 20 is saying us actually how easy to find that Muhammad is a false man. The prophet who speak in the name of other God is a false prophet. Muhammad, he did that. Speaking in the name of Allah, 99 names of the God of Muhammad, none of them is what God said to Moses. Zero. And then, in the verse, if we continue reading, this verse, who say things in the name of other God, and he prophesy prophecies they never happened. Which means, even if he claimed, let us say he come and he spoke in the name of Yahweh. He spake and he says, Elohim told me. This prophet who made the prophecy and the prophecy did not come true, he shall be executed. Literally. For he is a false man. And here I have a challenge to the Muslims who want to call me and tell me Muhammad did not give one prophecy, did not come true. I will give you endless. Not one, not two, not three. Let us see if we have a Muhammadan. This guy is not answering. Call declined. Well, guys, don't text me if you don't want me to call you. I only want Muslims to text me, please. If you are not a Muslim, don't. Don't do that. All right? Who is a Muslim? You see here, we got the condition in front of us. Muhammad, he spoke in the name of false God. We don't believe. But, you know, very simple. The God of Musa is a, have a spirit. The God of Muhammad have no spirit. <laughs> we don't even need to discuss it. If you ask any Muhammadan, is your God Allah is a spirit? They will say no. Ask any Muhammadan, is your God Allah is a spirit? They will say no. Okay, the God of Musa is a spirit. Open from the beginning, like right away from Genesis. God and his spirit. The spirit of God. The Holy Spirit. It's all over the Bible. The God of the Muslims has no spirit and the Muslims, they stole the word Holy Ghost. They put it in the Quran. But for them, it's an, it's an angel. You know, the Mohammedan is like a, an older form of Jehovah's Witnesses, but they are pagan. They are not really, it's a mix of religion. Like Jehovah's Witnesses is just corrupting the meaning of the Bible and changing some translation. The Mohammedan is totally pagan. They have nothing to do with the God of Musa. Muhammad, he just stole names. He add names from many religions and he add them to his book to make his religion international. Do we have any Muhammadan here there to call me? Who is a Muhammadan want to challenge me? If I can find prophecies Muhammad said and turn to be a lie. Not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, not six, not seven, not eight. Every single one of them. Any Muhammadan? Actually, the same one in front of us proving Muhammad to be a false prophet. You how? Anyone can tell me? The same chat we are reading. Anyone? If 
you go to verse number 9, verse number 9, let's read here, and when you come to the land, into the land, which the Lord your God is giving you, you shall not follow anything from other nations. It's forbidden for people of God to take any practice of paganism. Did the Jews where Muhammad lived go and do Hajj? No. Why? Because it's forbidden for them to practice what is a pagan practice. If you ask any Muhammadan, was the Kaaba is the house of people who they are pagan, they will say yes. Do they have a black stone and it is considered as a vagina of Allah? Some they say manat, they say yes. Is it true that the pagan and the Arab and the Muslim they used to put their hand over their vagina, the women, in order to get to have a child? When she have her period, she touch her private part and she place her hand inside the, the black stone, they say yes. How this is, can be the house of God? This is the house of God? If this is the house of God, what is the house of Satan? This guy is saying to me, let us talk. I called him, he declined my call. Let's try again. If you don't answer now, I will block you. Hello? Hello? Wa alaikum as salam. What happened? Even as salam wa alaikum is a Jewish greeting, have nothing to do with Islam. Even this one is a theft. If you read the story of Muhammad, you will not never find once the angel saying to Muhammad as salam wa alaikum. We find that when the angel came to Mary. Shalom alaikum Mary. This is what the angel says to Mary. Blessed you are between the women. Even that is a theft. And by the way, this story here is proving the story about Mary, proving to us that Muhammad is a fraud. How come the angel, when he came to Mary, he greeted her with peace? But when so called the angel came to Muhammad, he created, you know, he, he was violent with him. He did not say the word peace. How they can be the same angels? How Jibreel come to Mary? He said to her, peace. Even the name they got wrong. He called Jibreel. We never heard of Jibreel. What Jibreel? So the angel Gabriel, he came to Muhammad. He squeezed him. Is that the practice of an angel from God? You might say, well, maybe there is a reason. Okay, no problem. How come he did not do that with Mary? How come he did not do that with Muhammad, uh, with, with, uh, with uh, Isa, with Moses? According to the Muslim books, only one person, he was having such an experience, or he had such an experience. His name is Muhammad. He never said to him, who is he? He never said, I'm an angel. He didn't say, I'm from God. He didn't say anything. He said, just read one word. Muhammad says, read what? The man, which is an angel, supposedly, he squeezed him. And Muhammad, by the way, do not even maintain the same story twice. In once, he say that this angel came to him and he have 600 wings. In the other hand, he says, it was a man.
Do we have any Muhammadan? Anyone? So as you see, if Muhammad, he gave false prophecies, Muhammad is a false prophet. Very simple. Did the moon split? No. Is it true that the, the, the baby is made from a, a clot of a blood? No. This is a prophecy because he claimed something at that time a human being did not know. He claimed that this is from God. Allah told him how the baby is made. Is the baby... Is the sperm coming from the backbone of the man and from the ribs of the woman? No. Is it true that the Quran says that hail come from mountains in heaven? Yes. This is all is a false prophecies. Remember, you do not need to say of a million false prophecy to be a false prophet, one of them. Even if a prophet, he said the million prophecy and one of them turned to be false, he's false prophet. But Muhammad, all prophecies, he said, they turn to be false. 